What's up guys? I have eight different TP-Link Deco Mesh Wi-Fi systems that are designed to increase your Wi-Fi coverage at home. I'm going to compare these. We'll talk about their specs, ports. I've done a bunch of speed tests and range tests. I have all those numbers here that I've tested with devices such as these. And we'll go over at the end which one is worth getting for various reasons because honestly all of these are really good. It just depends on the situation you're in. You know how fast your internet speeds are, whether you're going to do wired or wireless backhaul and things of that nature. So we're going to start with the Deco X50 PoE, PoE standing for power over Ethernet. So this is the only mesh system in the group that can be powered over Ethernet if you have all the necessary hardware. Um, otherwise, you could just power it with a regular power plug and you'll be good to go. So this is the mount for it if you did want to mount it. So this is what it looks like. So depending on where you're mounting it, you can use you know the different holes and stuff. And then once it's done, you basically just put it in like this and then just twist it and you're good to go. You can ignore the main sticker. That's just something I put just as a reminder to myself because this is the one I set up as main within the pack that it came in. I could have picked anyone in the pack to be the main, uh, but it's just something I do just in case if I need to reconnect it and retest or, or whatever I need to do. It's just a reminder for me. Okay, so this thing has, let me open this up so you guys can see this a little easier. So we have the power plug right there. We have two ethernet ports. We have a 2.5 gigabit port and a gigabit port and we have a factory reset. Now it looks like both of these do support PoE just as a heads up. Now, the only thing worth noting is if my internet speeds were up to gigabit, I can use either one of these ports and I'd be fine because it would go in, let's say pick the 2.5, it would go in at gigabit and come out at gigabit. But if my internet speeds were faster than gigabit speeds, let's say I had two gigabit internet speeds, if it went in at two, this can support it because it can support up to 2.5, but then it would come out at gigabit speeds. So that is one downfall of this mesh system if you have internet speeds faster than that and you're planning on doing wired backhaul. So you guys will see this in the test results. Next, we'll move on to the Deco PX50, which is the other... Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the group. So we have three auto sensing gigabit ports. You can use any one of the three that you want. In fact, all the decos are pretty much in this comparison are auto sensing. So you could use any one of the ports you want and it will automatically detect it. Now, if you do have faster speeds, you do want to use the port that can handle those speeds just as a general rule of thumb. And then we have the power plug right here and we have the factory reset. Now, the interesting, the special feature of the PX50 is it also has a power line built in. So not only if you were doing wireless backhaul, for instance, not only is it using the frequencies that come with this thing, this is a dual band, it's also using the power line adapter to boost those speeds. Now, in my testing, I remember placing this closer for wireless backhaul and getting really, really good speeds. However, um, I typically do my wireless backhaul a test 35 to 40 feet away or so. And when I do that, I, I place in this in the same place as all the other ones. It didn't get quite as fast speeds. And you guys will see those numbers, but pretty much that's the shape. Let's move to the Wi-Fi 6E system. This is the XC70 Pro, recently came out, has two gigabit ports and a 2.5 gigabit port. This will be, this will essentially, can potentially have the same issue as the X50 PoE. Uh, and it is pretty much identical in terms of size and shape, not in terms of ports, but size and shape to the PX50. Um, so it can handle internet speeds of up to 2.5, but if it goes in and it comes out, it will be capping it to gigabit speeds, just something worth noting. We have the power plug and the factory reset is on the bottom right there. Next, we jump into the Deco B63 and we have four 2.5 gigabit ports. Again, auto sensing, all of these are auto sensing. We have a WPS button, we have a USB 3.0. So if you wanted to share your hard drive um, on the network, you can do that. It is one uh, possibility you could do with this. Also has the power plug. And this thing, uh, you'll. this is their signature like Wi-Fi 7 because that looks like a 7. They started kind of doing this with their Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems. And this thing is an absolute beast from what I remember from my testing of this thing. Uh, but generally a really nice mesh system and we also have the factory reset on the bottom. So then we jump to the BE65 Pro. Again, we got the main sticker, ignore that. Uh, we have a WPS button, we have a 2.5 gigabit port and two 5 gigabit ports, which is really, really good. So my internet speeds happen to be 5 gigs. So I could go in at 5 gigs and come out at 5 gigs, which is what I want. We have a USB, 
port, we have a power port, and we have the factory reset at the bottom, just like the B63. In fact, it's identical in terms of shape of the B63, except has one less port, but the ports are, two of the ports are faster. So something to keep in mind. Next, we get to the B16000, which is pretty much a larger B63 or a B65. In fact, it's very similar to the B63 because it has four auto sensing 2.5 gigabit ports, WPS button, USB, a power port, and we have the factory reset on the bottom, just like the other ones, except it's beefier. And this is a quad band mesh system versus the tri-band of the 63. So it has a faster speed rating because it has an additional frequency it could operate on. Next we get to the B85, which is the same size and shape as the B16000, except it has two faster ports and it also supports SFP+. So you get the WPS button, two 2.5 gigabit ports, two 10 gigabit ports, and this 10 gigabit port is shared with this SFP Plus port. So you can use either the 10 gig SFP Plus port or the 10 gig ethernet port. So this is really useful for me because again, I have internet speeds of five gigs up and down. So I would use the 10 gig port and then come out at 10 gig and I should be golden. USB 3.0 power. And we have the little factory reset on the bottom. And the B95 is essentially identical in terms of size and shape and ports as the BE85, except the BE95 is a quad band mesh system versus the tri band. Now, both of these are crazy fast, but the BE95 is the fastest of the bunch in terms of speed rating. Now let's get into the power supplies. You'll notice some similarities between them in terms of size and shape, but there are some subtle differences between some of them. So let's get First of all, let's get the Deco PX50 out of the way. This is a regular plug and the Deco PX50 actually just plugs in. So the AC to DC must be built into this thing. So you're good to go there. These five look the same. However, this one, and by the way, all of these support 100 to 240 volts. Um, but basically this one, the output is 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So this actually, the X50 PoE takes the least amount of power. The XC70 Pro takes a little more power at 12 volts. Output is 12 volts at two amps, so slightly more power. These three are exactly the same. 12, output is 12 volts at 3.3 amps. And then the BE85 and the BE95 are exactly the same. And their output, they take the most amount of power. Output is 15 volts at five amps. So starting with the internet speed test, as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. Unless of course the router itself can't go that fast. So in my case, my internet speeds are five gigabits per second upload and download. And some of these are actually too slow for my internet speed. So for example, if I got a Deco PX50, which is capped at gigabit speeds, even if I connect an ethernet connected device, which is typically faster than Wi-Fi devices, even with that, I will be capped to just under gigabit speeds with this. Now with that same notion, if I get a Deco BE85 or a 95 that does support up to 10 gig speeds, I will still be capped to five gig speeds when I'm accessing the internet. Now, locally within the local network, I can in theory reach 10 gig speeds, assuming I had all the right hardware. But again, as soon as I go to the internet, I'm capped to whatever my ISP, my internet service provider is providing. So looking at the results for the Wi-Fi devices, we could see there's a huge difference between the different mesh systems with the PX50 being the slowest. Not only is the port cap, but the speed rating can't handle that much speed over Wi-Fi. So that's another culprit right there. So that's why you see this drastic difference in speed. And obviously the Wi-Fi 7 devices are doing better because they're less capped or not capped at all. Now to find the true performance of these Deco mesh systems, I need to do a local speed test server. So what I do is I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to Deco to computer, and in the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I'll go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. And what this does is it isolates the mesh system, and that's what I wanna find its true performance, because no longer I am relying on my ISP, nor the public speed test server. And the public speed test server can be busy at times, you know, depending on the time of day you're testing and things like that. So this kind of just isolates the mesh system. And that's why you guys can see when you're looking at the results, there is an improvement in speeds overall. Some of them are pretty drastic improvements, uh, especially the Deco BE85, which the download speed 
got crazy fast so it actually took first place with the be 95 being not too far behind generally speaking the wi-fi device the wi-fi 7 devices again performed better next we jump into wired backhaul and this is where a second fast port matters so in the case uh, if it doesn't have a second fast port like the x50 poe or the xc70 pro you could see their wired backhaul speeds drop compared to their single router configuration where the other ones pretty much were within the same ballpark of the single router test. I mean, there were a few differences, but within the same ballpark of testing, thanks to a second fast port. Next, we jump into wireless backhaul, and now you're starting to see why some of these mesh systems cost more than the others, because this is really when Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems shine, and BE95 is the absolute king of this thing, because you could see there's a huge speed difference between the B95 and pretty much the rest of the mesh systems. The B95 was so fast, it was almost as fast as wired backhaul. It is ridiculously fast. And one of the reasons for that is the B95 is a quad band system with a very fast speed rating and it has Wi-Fi 7 so it supports MLO so everything is kind of helping it get crazy fast speeds. The other Wi-Fi 7 devices were also pretty fast but next to the B95, I mean, this thing took the absolute cake. Pretty much for the download and the upload section, the B95 was taking the cake. But overall, you could see that the Wi-Fi 7 devices are much, much faster than the Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E devices. Next, we jump into range test, and range will vary drastically by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, Essentially, more obstructions typically equals less range. Now, in my case, all of these were tested in the same environment. So looking at the results at 20 feet away inside my place, they all dropped, but they're all still doing fairly well. They haven't dropped too much at 50 feet. This is when the big drop happens because now I'm outside my place and they're all still doing fairly well. It does look like the Deco BE95 is taking the cake for the download section. And as far as the upload section, it looks like the B85 is taking the cake for that. But all the Wi-Fi 7 devices are typically doing pretty well. But at 100 feet, it looks like for the download sections, it looks like the B85 was doing fairly well. The B16000 was doing amazing for the Wi-Fi 7 section. Um, and again, across the board doing fairly well. But I do have to give a thumbs up to the X50 PoE that's doing very well for something in this price range. Now for setup and configuration, use the Deco app, which is available both on iOS and on Android. And it tells you what to connect where, it gives you the order and stuff. So it tells you, oh, wait till this is blinking, pick your Wi-Fi name and stuff. And depending on which Deco you're setting up, it'll give you additional options. Now, if you wanna see which additional options those are, you could do a deep dive in Pretty much click on the specific one you're looking for and click on that video in the description box below where I will actually show you the Deco app for that specific model. You can even go to the chapter because I usually name it Deco app. You can even skip straight to that and just see what the app itself looks like. But just as a general rule, they all have a main Wi-Fi. They all have a guest Wi-Fi. Some of them have an Internet of Things Wi-Fi if you want to set up. Some of them have VPN support, and there are some additional options like the Wi-Fi 7s have MLO SSID if you want to connect to that. Wi-Fi 6C can use the 6 gigahertz band as a dedicated backhaul. So it really just depends which one you're using. Again, if you guys want to know more detail into a specific one, be sure to check the video links in the description box below. So, uh, and they all have parental controls, basic parental controls, and if you want more advanced parental controls, you do have to pay an additional subscription uh, fee with pretty much any one of these, but the basic ones are pretty good. Now, which one is worth getting and why? Well, all of this depends on your specific situation. So for me, because my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, I would only consider the B65 Pro, 85, and the 95 because only these three are capable of handling my speeds. So it'd be pointless for me to pay my ISP extra money to get the faster speeds and get something that can't handle those speeds. If your internet speeds are faster, like up to 10 gigs, I'd only consider these two. If your internet speeds are gigabit, then I'd consider any one of these. Um, then I would ask like, okay, are you gonna do wired backhaul or wireless backhaul? Because if you're doing wired backhaul, I would just go with either the PX50 or the X50 PoE or the XC70 Pro. I would save money there. 
Uh, if you're doing wireless backhaul, I would start looking like, okay, at the speeds, like wireless backhaul between the cheaper ones, which one did well. And it looks like the XC70 Pro did, did very, I'm like pointing to the wrong one. Looks like the XC70 Pro did very well uh, for wireless backhaul. So all of this kind of makes a difference. You might also like, you know, the X50 PoE because you can hide this somewhere. If you have the necessary hardware, you could power it over Ethernet. So really just depends on your specific situations. But all of these are really honestly very good for various situations. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.